So this Choose Your Fate is Black Friday edition. Being that Black Friday is around the corner, I think it's only right we do a Choose Your Fate around Black Friday. Okay? So I love these. I love to break them down. And I have not explained any of these to anybody. So it's all fresh to everyone. So first subject, do you miss Thanksgiving dinner just for Black Friday? Or do you skip Black Friday and say F it? Now, this is a tough one. I know some people go, it ain't tough. You with your family, right? I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Totally with you. But there are some electronic devices and some deals that you just can't beat. You don't see again. They come once. They do. And guess what? I could always come home and heat up turkey. Could always sit down with you. Now, I know that's cruel. That's cruel. Now, y'all, I ain't never did that. I've never missed a Thanksgiving dinner for Black Friday. Okay, so let's get that straight. All right. Never missed a Thanksgiving dinner for Black Friday. That is me. All right. But I'm sure many people have just to get that great deal. If I had to choose one, though, I'm not going to lie. Mm, 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 mm. I'm a skip Black Friday, man. I'm going to do Thanksgiving, man. Thanksgiving dinner is so good. And you get to watch football games and do all that stuff. You don't got to be dealing with people. You don't got to sit. It's so much easier to be comfortable. I'm going to be honest. It's so much easier to be comfortable than sit out and wait for deals. You got to stand. You got to deal. You know what I mean? No, I'm good with that. So for this one, my choice, simply skip Black Friday. I'm not missing Thanksgiving dinner. All right. So now let's go to the next one. Ooh. Damn, 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 damn. This is almost too close to call. Yeah, I'm going to say this is too close to call, y'all. Do you take 50% off travel or do you take 50% off electronics? Black Friday, which deal do you take? Um, If I have to choose a deal, I'm not going to lie. I take 50% off travel. Uh, reason being is because I could think, and there's a lot of electronic devices that can go up in prices, so it's not going to be a price thing. For some people might think that. If you're thinking it's a price thing, there are TVs out there that could be worth $10,000, right? 50% off of that is $5,000. You are literally getting that TV for a bargain, bro. <laughs> a bargain, okay? So that is crazy to think that you can get a $10,000 TV for $5,000. Like, that is nuts, all right? But travel... OK, just think of that. If you're taking travel, especially across country. OK, you hey, those tickets cost round trip. That costs a lot. Family, you're bringing four people. Let's say you got round trip tickets going four hundred dollars a pop. They're two hundred dollars a pop now or they were two hundred dollars a pop. They're one hundred dollars a pop. Now, that saves you a lot of money. Then they didn't say specifically what they didn't say. Hotels that 50 percent off the hotel too. 50 mm, percent off the hotel that 50 percent off the rental car. Now we talking, the rental cars is, is where it's at, right? Y'all might Uber and all that, y'all young kids. I don't know who I'm talking to. But yo, if I had to pick one for me, final answer, 50% off travel. Mm, that was a tough one to say, man. I'm going to go ahead and tell shut myself up. to shut up. Because I ain't going to lie, it's a lot of systems I want to see. All right, I don't know what happened right there, but let's see. Ooh. So would you rather pay full price for an item or would you rather deal with crowds and get it for the Black Friday discount? Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I don't mind dealing with crowds. I'm one of those people. Um, I don't want to pay full price for a lot of items. I don't. I don't. Y'all, it might be crazy. Can have the money there. I don't want to pay it. Knowing I can pay it, the only time I'm paying full price for an item, it better be brand new, okay? It better be brand new. Matter of fact, that's it. It's release day brand new. Like, it ain't no other situation. I think the last item that I purchased at full price, like full price, I don't want no discount, nothing, was my Series X. Bro, like everything else, TVs, you can get a lot of nice TVs, bro, at, with everything you need that works with your Series X, and you don't have to buy the top one out there. You can get it for a nice discounted price. Maybe it's a little bit on sale here or something like that. I'll deal with crowds. My final answer for this one, I'm a Black Friday dude that can handle it. 
I'm going to deal with crowds. Get it at a hefty discount. That's me. I think that's well said. Now, I'm not going to lie. Paying full prices, you know, sometimes you just don't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, what if you got to wait three hours, four hours? Some people don't want to deal with it. Depending on how much I save. If I wait three hours, I go, how many, you know, how much is that per hour? I've saved, you know, is it $100 per hour? Right? Oh, hey, I saved $100 per hour. It's worth it. So that's some people. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Okay, this is a good one for Black Friday, people. All my Black Friday heads out there where you at. Because I know y'all definitely understand this. For Black Friday, do you camp outside and wait for the very first moment for that door to open to be the first person to get that deal to make sure you do not get denied and you come back bragging to all your friends how you sat out there and how you got it? Or do you wait for the store to open and shop like everybody else? They got it, they got it. If they don't, I'll take what's left. Right. This is a very simple one for me. I wait till the store open. I, I have done the Black Friday, you know, stand out thing. It ain't fun. It's not fun, bro. You know what I mean? And actually, I don't think I did it long. Matter of fact, I don't even think I did it. I might be lying. I think my brother might did it. And I ran him up some food or something like, you know what I mean? And then I came when he got went in there and lying and cut or something like it was something else. I don't know. You know what I mean? But I just feel like it's not my thing to really camp outside. There are a lot of people who get great deals every year because they're willing to camp outside. Not only that, there are people who actually make a living of that. They come to people and say, hey, I'm going to purchase these systems. I'm going to be standing outside. You can pay me $100 and I'll go ahead and stand out there for you. And they make $100, $200. However, however much the upcharge would be, they can do that. You can actually put up a service for that. Everybody for Black Friday coming up, you can put up one on Facebook Marketplace. Don't mess with Facebook, Mark. Don't mess with none of them. Right, if you do it, it's up to you. But my choice would be for this one, I'm going to wait till the store opens. And if they ain't got what I want, oh, well. All right. That's me for that one. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. What's the next one? I'm curious. Oh, okay. A flat out choice. All right. I like that one. Black Friday or some uh, Cyber Monday. This one. Very simple for me. Black Friday. I've always been a Black Friday person. I never liked the Cyber Monday deals, even though last year I did find some major hits for Cyber Monday. But Cyber Monday seems to be a real big thing for people who are big PC gamers, people who have like anything gaming related. If you're using um, like monitors, if you're using just mouse uh, mouse pads, keyboards, like all that stuff, GPUs, uh, cases, like everything around PCs are always cheap. Uh, and there's a lot of other things. There's certain TV deals you can catch on Cyber Monday, but none of them just seem to me to hit the Black Friday deals, man. Now, I'm going to be honest, Black Friday deals have tanked in the past few years. They have not been Black Friday deals. They've really honestly been just deals. Okay, but let's hope this Black Friday, we can get some real damn deals. All right? Um, I can tell you, I seen Amazon's Black Friday deals, okay? I seen a couple other Black Friday deals. I seen Best Buy. I seen Walmarts. I get a couple of them, okay? They looking pretty good, but I want to see if that's going to hold up. I know there was one where the PlayStation 5 was actually... Um, I think it was the PlayStation 5 Slim was marked down about $100 or $150, damn near $200, right? I was like, damn, it looked like it was so cheap. I said, if you don't run out and get a PlayStation 5 Slim right now, you have lost your mind. But guess what? Went away very quickly. So just look out for that Black Friday deal. Maybe there's going to be a PlayStation 5 Slim for $200 off, okay? But for me, Black Friday, it's it. It's Black Friday, man. Hands down, it ain't even nothing to talk about. Black Friday, come on. Now, shop solo or shop with friends. This is very simple. For Black Friday, man, I'm going to keep it real. You need to shop solo. I, and I know some people might say you need to shop with friends. Make sure you're safe. People can try to take your item. People can try to do these things. But I'm going to tell you, I find it very hard to move with someone when you're doing Black Friday shopping. So, for instance, if you go somebody that likes to stay with you the entire time, it's hectic. Y'all got people coming through, cutting through. You trying to rush the things. They might be behind. They might. No. No. I need to be solo. I need to move like a ninja. You know what I mean? I got on black hoodie, black Tims, black jeans. I'm over there. Uh, give me that. Uh, excuse me. Uh, throw it in the car. Uh, don't look at me. I'm looking like if you take this from me, it's, uh, you know, it's Black Friday. It's real. It's real out here. So I'm, I'm shopping solo. I can handle my own. Um, I like to do my own thug dizzle by myself. 
Uh, but, you know, I can see for those who shop with friends, especially if you are a woman, I think you need to shop with a uh, friend on Black Friday, especially if you're getting some good deals. There's a lot of people out there looking for people to shop. Take advantage. So I would say shop with friends for you ladies. But for me, I'm shopping solo dolo, baby.